Hey guys, welcome back to Engineer Prof PH. In this video, we are going to discuss another random board exam problem. Problem number 12, we are going to discuss about fluid mechanics. This problem, guys, is a past board exam problem. To be specific, this is a past civil engineering board exam problem. So, I got this problem sa engineering math ni Diti Gilyasanya. You can actually get that book. You can buy that book sa mga bookstores nationwide or you can actually avail it online. Ayan. So, engineering mathematics by Gilyasanya. An iceberg having a specific gravity of 0.92 is floating in salt water which has a specific gravity of 1.03. If the volume of the ice above the water surface is 1,000 cubic meters, determine the total volume of the ice. So, if nakita nyo na yung word na float, so, dito yung concept natin is yung tinatawag nating buoyancy. Okay, what counteracts the weight of an object submerged the fluid, what makes it float, is the balance of the buoyant force and the weight of that substance or that material. So, in this problem, we have an ice. Okay, so first step, pag nag tayo ng any engineering uh, science problem, of course, you illustrate the figure to further understand and come up with the analysis. So, let's say that this is the iceberg here, submerged in a salt water. So, the specific gravity of the ice, so SG, of the ice is 0 0.92 and we have the SG of the salt water as 1.03. Ayan. For this object or for this substance, okay, to float. So, meron siyang weight. The force exerted by this iceberg is its weight. So, the weight of the ice. And what counteracts the weight in order for this uh, substance or this material to float? is the buoyant force. Okay, F sub B. So, pag equal C, weight ng ice and yung buoyant force, this will float. So, yung ating working concept here is that the weight of the ice should be equal to the buoyant force. Okay, so this is the uh, principle dito sa problem na to. So, how can we get the volume of the ice? Okay, so eto, there are two volume that consists of the total volume. So, yung volume na submerge, eto, yung submerge volume, and yung naka, nakalabas dun sa, ano natin, surface. So, this, uh, above the water surface is 1,000 cubic meters. Okay, so the volume of uh, this, so let's say V1, yung naka, uh, labas is 1,000 cubic meters. And yung naka, yung nakalubog, let's say V sub D, okay, is unknown yun. Okay, hindi natin alam kung ilan yun. So, dito hinahanap yung total volume of the ice. So, let's say the total volume is V, V sub T. Okay, let's say V sub T or V na lang to simplify. This is the total volume. Total volume. Total volume of ice. Ayan, in order for us to get the total volume, Okay, we have here V is equal to, okay, that is just equal to 1,000 cubic meters plus etong displaced volume. Okay, so how can we get the weight of the ice? So from the concept, as we recall dun sa mga previous videos natin, we have the concept of specific weight. That is just the weight of the substance divided by its volume. Okay, so this is the concept for weight. Therefore, we can say that the weight of a substance is just equal to its specific weight times volume. Okay, so yung weight ng ice can actually express as the specific weight times the total volume of the ice. So the weight of the ice is equal to the specific weight of the ice times the total volume. So yun yung total volume ng ice natin. So, what about the buoyant force? So, same thing for the buoyant force. Buoyant force is just a specific weight times the volume. So, but this time, 
yung buoyant force natin will depend doon sa fluid wherein nakasubmerge yung ating object o yung ating uh, material. So here, this is a salt water. So this is the specific weight of salt water times the volume na nakadisplace. Specific weight of salt water times the displaced volume. So ito na yung working equations natin. So as we recall, the concept is that for this ice to float, the weight of the ice should be equal to the buoyant force. So the weight of the ice, we have here specific weight of ice times the total volume is equal to buoyant force natin, specific weight of salt water times the displaced volume. So yung displaced volume, i-express natin siya in terms of V. Okay, V sub D from this equation here, V sub D is total volume minus 1,000 cubic meters. Okay, this is V sub D. We have here the specific weight of ice times the total volume is equal to the specific weight of salt water times V D. That is total volume minus 1,000 cubic meters. Ayan, so hanapin natin si specific weight of ice and specific weight of salt water. So let's go back to the concept of specific gravity. So the specific gravity of a substance, density of the substance divided by the density of a standard substance, water yung ginagamit natin for fluid mechanics. And also you can express SG in terms of specific weight of substance since dito specific weight ang given. The specific weight of substance divided by the specific weight of a standard substance, commonly used water. Ayan. So here, you can say that Sg of ice is equal to specific weight of ice divided by the specific weight of water. So from standard, the specific weight of water, that is 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter. That is at standard pressure and temperature. So, yun yung gagamitin natin as a specific weight of water here. So, SG of ice given sa problem, you have here 0.92 and 1.034 salt water. So, a specific weight of ice is equal to SG of ice times a specific weight of Water. Okay, multiply tayo ng specific weight of water both sides. So, SG of ice, we have here 0 0.92 from the problem. And we have here a specific weight of water. We have here 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter. Okay, so we have here the specific weight of ice. So, the specific weight of ice is 9 point. We have here 9.0. 252. We have here kilonewtons per cubic meter. Okay, so we have now the specific weight of ice. Okay, check na to. We now proceed to the specific weight of salt water. Okay, from the equation above, we have here the specific weight of salt water that is Sg of salt water times the specific weight of water. So from the given, the Sg of salt water is 1.03. So that is times 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter. So the specific weight of salt water is 10.1043. That is kilonewtons per cubic meter. So ayun, we already have those two specific weights. We can now solve for V. Okay, we have here specific weight of ice. Times the total volume of the ice is equal to the specific weight of salt water times we have here the total volume of ice minus 1,000. We have here 1,000 cubic meter. So let's just substitute the values here. So we get specific weight of ice that is 9.0252. 9.0252 kilonewtons per cubic meter. We have here times V. And for the salt water, we have 10.1043 kilonewtons per cubic meter. Then that is multiplied to the quantity V minus 1,000 
cubic meters. So, we get, hanapin lang natin yung uh, V. Okay, kilonewton will cancel out both sides of this equation. So, we can see here that the resulting value for this is cubic meters. Okay, so we have here 9.0252. V is equal to, so multiply lang natin siya, distribute natin dito. So, we have here uh, 10.1043. V minus, okay, times 1,000 ito, so tatlong decimal place. We have here 10, we have here 104.3. Ayan. So, the unit is cubic meters. So, sub lang natin siya, we have here 10.1043 uh, V. So, transpose lang natin yung mga variables. So, we have here minus 9.0252 V. V is equal to, okay, ito magiging positive yung negative dito. So, 1,000, I mean 10,104.3. Okay, the unit of this is cubic meters. Ayan, so ito kasi naka-divided by cubic meter. Then, if you multiply both sides cubic meter, this will become cubic meters here. Okay, cubic meter. So, divide natin both sides by this. Okay, pag-combine muna natin siya. So, 10.1043 minus 9.0252. So, 1.0791 V is equal to 10,104.3 cubic meters. So, divide natin both sides by 1.0791. So, we have V as 9363. Okay, 0.64 cubic meters. Okay, so this will be our final answer for this past board exam problem. Okay, we recall the concept here. The concept is buoyancy. Okay, so the weight of the substance must be equal to the buoyant force for it to actually uh, float. So all the forces that are acting on the body should be counteracted by the buoyant force. So if hindi na counteract ng buoyant force, yung lahat ng forces acting on the body, the tendency of the body is of course to sink. Okay, so the concept here is the buoyant force. That's it guys for today's video. I hope that you have learned from this past board exam problem. So I hope na nabigyan ko kayo ng idea kung paano siya uh, isolve and i-analyze. So if you are new to this channel, just click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll get notified on our future videos just like this one. Thank you for watching this video and you can also follow me guys on Facebook. That is facebook.com slash engineerprofph. See you guys. Thank you for watching this video.